Hey y'all. Happy Thursday, y'all. Let me tell you. First of all, I just got some gas. Okay, it is 11, 20, 10, 27, and I still ain't go to work because I'm right by where I live. But anyway, let me tell you what I'm sick of. Okay, this dang on illness that's going around. I won't even say the name. I don't even. I'm tired of hearing about it. But anyway, I'm so tired of this dang on. I feel like it's an overreaction to some extent, and then the other extent is like, eh. I guess people are just being precautious. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like everybody's losing their mind. And you can't get anything in the stores. All the hand sanitizer, all the disinfectant spray, everything is just gone. I don't know what's wrong with these wipes. This is ridiculous. Anywho, um, so my coworkers are texting. They in all the stores trying to find stuff. They can't find nothing. So I had to go into my stockpile. Look what I'm bringing. I just pumped my gas, so I need to use some Lysol. Bringing Lysol wipes. This must have came from Ronnie's apartment, but it's still full. I guess this is like Lysol, but the off-brand. And then I did have this at home. This is the only can I had at home, so I may take this back home and not bring this to work because this can is pretty big, and I know they're bringing stuff too. But this is ridiculous, y'all. Like, seriously. Um, we have like a big all hands meeting at work today and um honey mm -mm, i'll be dialing in i'm not going to wear a lot of germs can be oh i probably need to wipe off my gear shift too huh that might be a good idea so those things definitely carry dirt all these ugh. look at this this is disgusting ugh. definitely need to throw this away when I finish with it. Yuck, yuck, yuck. But yeah. Um, oh yeah, I'm headed to work. I uploaded a vlog for you guys. It is called A Baby Shopping Haul and Birthday Vibes. It's from when I went to Brittany's father's birthday dinner. Um, so yeah. And my sister texted me this morning saying she got some more newborn size newborn and size one baby diapers for me so i'm excited about that because i'm taking all these blessings i'm taking them um what else i have cleaned out all of the shoes we are probably about i want to say like 80 percent done clearing out the room of everything that's not baby related we just have to move the bed and then i have to take the clothes out of the closet and put them in my closet i already went through the clothes and got rid of everything that i'm donating so everything is hanging in the closet now i'm keeping i just need to you know transport it to my room but i got rid of all my shoe boxes moved all my shoes into um my shoe closet in my room so that's all good so the last two things is for me to move my clothes and for us to move the bed out of there and then everything else left in the room is her stuff um, I got an alert that her wall decals that I ordered are going to be in on tomorrow. So that means this weekend we can go get some wall paint samples. Um, so I'm excited about that. And then hopefully we can get the painting done within the next, I don't know, um, week and a half, two weeks. Um, especially if Ronnie has time to devote to it or whatever during the during the week i like to be around but i know i can't be around the paint fumes and stuff i know they have like paint like baby safe paint or something like that or the fumes are okay but because we're doing it so early before the baby gets here i think using the regular paint is okay i just can't really be around it which y'all know i'm a control freak when it comes to my home and home decor and stuff like that so i'm already stressing about that but anywho he did a really good job um patching up the wall in the basement i think i showed you guys a clip i'm not sure but anyway um it's already repainted and everything you can't even tell so that's good yesterday i don't know what went wrong with the electricity in the house but we had to call an electrician because at first the back anything that was plugged in on that back wall where the like tv is in the basement was not coming on at all but the back wall and on the kitchen.
kitchen level was fine so we didn't know what was going on and then eventually the electricity and the whole house went out i called pepco and there was no outage in our area so it was obviously something in my house so ronnie had to call an electrician and 450 dollars later we got it fixed i don't know what the problem was the electrician's supposed to be coming back today to finish up the job but he did get everything working again he said he had to redo some wires on the outside outlet as well to bring it up to code and he switched out some other things i don't know what he did but the electricity is working again so i'm thankful for that um but yeah so that was yesterday um i had a free i had enough points at papa john's to give me a free pizza last night so we had pizza for dinner because even though like he meal prepped and grilled um all the meats for this week i just kind of wanted a pizza and i was saving that reward for when i next you know wanted pizza so i got pepperoni and sausage pizza yesterday it's really good i have some for lunch today and also there's another video that's coming soon i'm working with a company they sent me one of their products which is a product that i've been really interested in so it's ironic that they reached out to me and offered it to me um but yeah so uh, we unboxed that last night set it up and filled it up and so yeah i'm really excited i checked on it this morning all is well and yeah so Stay tuned for that video. I think you guys should like it. Um, I think I'm going to either include it in <clears throat> like a basement reveal video or like a baby. It's not a baby item though, but I can tie it into like a baby haul or something, which um, I think I can do another haul for you guys because we have some more stuff. Not stuff that we necessarily purchased all of it, but just stuff that we've been acquiring um yeah so i don't know we'll see but it's coming up in the next week or so so stay tuned for that i still have to work on the maternity hall and we have to film i told ronnie we have to film the how we found out we were pregnant portion of the reactions video because a few of you guys have reached out to me asking where that video is and you guys have been waiting on it so the only part that i'm missing obviously i have the footage from everyone else's reactions when we told both our sets of parents and you know my best friends but we don't have the portion where we actually sit down and say how we found out so um hopefully this weekend we can carve out some time to do that i know i have to take lady to get um her vaccinations and then hopefully take her on sunday to be groomed because she needs it um i was supposed to take her last week when we dropped off rocco but because her vaccinations were expiring I think they expired the day before they wouldn't take her um and i couldn't get in to get her vaccinated last weekend at all so hopefully this weekend will be better um i think it will be so i'm gonna do that i've been calling petco the last two days trying to make her an appo uh, um, grooming appointment and they're just not answering the phone so i don't know what is going on with that i'm gonna try again when i get to work um but yeah probably not going to be to work until like 11 30. it's already 10 35. i'm doing horrible i have a doctor's appointment tomorrow so i'm 19 weeks and one day today so i'm excited next week i think next wednesday i will be halfway through and i'm excited about that um i have a doctor's appointment tomorrow and we have our anatomy scan scheduled um you know our ultrasound so i'm excited about that we are going to confirm you know through the doctor that it's actually a girl um because you guys know we went to one of those private ultrasound places for our gender reveal so i'm excited and yeah that's early early tomorrow before work hours and then i don't know we may, we may go out tomorrow ronnie is really on edge about this um you know this illness out here so he's really like been trying to quarantine me without actually saying it so i don't know if we're gonna like go out tomorrow night or you know because usually on Fridays we kind of go out but I don't know if that's gonna happen this weekend <laughs> um so yeah I don't know they also sent me some um coupons to Carabas and I'm not a big fan of Carabas I've only went like twice in my whole life um but the coupons were pretty good they were like buy one entree get the second one free so I mean if we do go out I may vote for Carabas so that we can give it another chance and we get a free meal so we'll see because I have those coupons in my um 
in my purse. The other coupon was like 20% off your entire order or something, which still isn't bad. Um, but we'll see. I just remember the last two times I went there, I wasn't like overly impressed, but I don't know. Anywho, I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to finish you driving to work. And uh, yeah, so if you haven't checked out that vlog video, go check it out. Um, I show you guys some baby finds that I found at Marshall's a couple weeks ago. And Ronnie actually really liked that, the outfits that I picked out. I think one of them was because it said Daddy's Little Princess or something. Um, but um, don't get me wrong, I also buy mommy stuff when I see it and I think it's cute or I like it. And I'm pretty sure we will get some of that stuff like at our baby shower and stuff too. But that one just happened to be on clearance and you know, it was in good condition and I liked it. So I went ahead and bought it, but he was really excited about um, that stuff. He wasn't home when I bought it, but I left it on the counter for him to see. So he looked at it and told me the next day that he really liked this stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, and what else? I don't know what else. I don't know. But anywho, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Bye. Yeah. It's still Thursday. 6.18 and I just left work. Let me tell y'all. The world is losing their mind. Okay? This dang old illness is just ridiculous. They didn't close Maryland schools for two weeks. Okay? My co-workers was like, what are we gonna do? Like, I don't know. If they close the federal government, we're screwed because we are contractors and we do not get paid when the government closes unless there's some special type of Congress enacted something that says that everyone who is employed will get their money. Uh, it's still a question of when, um, but a bigger question of if that would even happen. Um, but yeah, if the federal government closes, we're screwed. Um, we have issues at work with people coming to work sick. Like, what? Coughing all over the place, hacking all over the place. Like, this is a big y'all it's a shit show anyway i'm leaving work today was payday so all my bills and everything got all that squared away i told ronnie we're going to the store tonight because uh, i don't even know I, i'm just i'm so disgusted it's ridiculous and i know the stores are going to be bare and it's going to be a zoo in there stacy just told us that she left costco and it's a mess in there so i just know the grocery store is just going to be ridiculous but i feel like we need to get it over with um we typically used to go try to go on friday nights or saturday but um i'm just go ahead so we have stuff just in case like there is a quarantine situation or anything like that or until the store or yeah um i don't want to wait until like the stores are totally empty or whatever but y'all like this is crazy this is crazy um so anyway I was making my list, I say all this to say, I was making my grocery list while I was at work today. And I have a taste for some Alfredo. Technically, I really want Olive Garden's Alfredo, but I'm gonna try to be more responsible with um, the whole eating out thing, especially because me and my girlfriends planned a dinner date um, next weekend. So since I'm going out to eat with them next weekend, I'm going to try my hand at making my own Alfredo. Nothing too fancy. I'm gonna buy the Alfredo sauce in the jars but um, I'm gonna try to, you know, make my own recipe. I looked on Pinterest and stuff like that, and I got some inspiration from there, but um, I think I'm just gonna do like chicken. I haven't decided if I'm gonna actual actually cook the uh, chicken breast and cut it up, or get like the pre-cooked chicken strip. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but anyway, um, I looked on Pinterest and I got the idea to use penne pasta instead of Alfredo, I mean, um, fettuccine noodles. So I may do that. And then I may put some broccoli in it. I, I like spinach in mine too. So I may put some spinach in it as well. I don't like warm tomatoes. I know my mom has put um, grape tomatoes in hers before. Um, and it makes it look beautiful, but I just don't like warm tomatoes. It's not my thing. So I'm not gonna put those in there. But I'm gonna get some Parmesan cheese to sprinkle on the top, get some garlic knots and maybe like a salad kit or something. And so that'll be like our um, pasta night or something like that. And then I also subscribe to HelloFresh. So if you guys have any experience with HelloFresh or Blue Apron or any of those types of companies, let me know down in the comments section what your experience has been. They were running a really, really good deal. And I think I, I paid like $20 or $21 for three meals. 
and the meals feed each feed two people because I got the two person plan. So I'm gonna try it out um, for next week, like probably for dinners. The only thing is I would have to come home those three nights and actually cook dinner, which hopefully should be okay because I didn't have to cook this week at all since he grilled. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try it out this week and then I'm going to pause it and, you know, until I figure out if I really like it or not. Um, but the meals are supposed to be delivered on Saturday um, and I get, got to choose my three meals. So I'm excited about that. I tried to choose meals that are different from what we normally get um, or what we normally eat so that you know it's just some variety in there another reason why i'm trying to do the alfredo thing i think i'm gonna get some tacos for next week um and there was something else i've been wanting some hamburger helper too i don't know why but i just been wanting it so i'm gonna get me some hamburger meat and one of those as well and yeah so i don't know i'm just gonna go to um i probably go to two grocery stores um because i have a coupon for one of the stores and then the other store i looked at their circular and they had some good deals and i was interested in getting some of the things that they had on sale too so luckily the two stores are right across the street from each other so it won't take long ronnie's supposed to meet me at the store so hopefully fingers crossed we have a good experience tonight i did stop at the store last night on the way home and it wasn't bad but i was only going in there for beverages and some chips that's the only thing that i grabbed so i didn't even walk the whole store but it didn't seem that bad again i didn't go until like seven o'clock anyway so yeah that is what the current situation is i do have a doctor's appointment first thing in the morning so i'm going to go to um that and talk to my doctor about this illness that's going around and what she thinks and what's the best approach for me because i do want to be safe um but yeah so that's what's on the agenda for tonight and i will talk to you guys later Bye. Okay, so we're finally back from the grocery store we bought all the snacks as you can see that cabinet is full that cabinet is full there's snacks there there's snacks and produce in the refrigerator we got everything i got my alfredo i think i'm gonna make some alfredo like i told you guys and we're about to eat um dinner that's popcorn over there from a fundraiser um but we're about to eat dinner we got water we got juices fruits all of that stuff we went to two stores and we didn't get back here until like nine so we're sitting down about to eat dinner and yeah and then i'm probably going to go upstairs and like watch a little bit of tv before we go to bed because we have an early doctor's appointment in the morning so yeah good morning guys happy friday it is march 13th you guys it's 7 8 in the morning and i'm headed to my doctor's appointment ronnie is behind me in his car because i go i usually go straight to work from um, from my doctor's appointments and try to make them really early in the morning so today we actually have two doctor's appointments. I think I was telling you in the last clip that we have our anatomy scan. <clears throat> Although I'm only 19 weeks, two days, I'm having my anatomy scan done. And usually it's done between 18 and 20 weeks. So um, the way my doctor's office does it, my doctor's office is located inside of the hospital that I will deliver at. And um, inside of the practice, they have like an ultrasound center place so I have an 8 a.m. appointment there and then I have an 8 30 appointment um, with my doctor right after so um, that's how it's gonna work today uh, my GPS says I'll get there in 50 minutes because it is a little ways from my house um, which I am a little worried about you know going into labor and having a 50 minute drive depending on the time it could be longer if there's traffic if it's rush hour or anything um, but that is a hospital that both of us agreed on that we're both comfortable with in our area um, that we think is um, equipped to actually handle the job. Some of our hospitals in this area are not up to par as far as our standards, so we decided we were going to go um, with this particular hospital. So we found a practice that delivers there and is affiliated there, and yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So um, I'm headed there. I have a green smoothie and a banana for breakfast. Um, and I usually try to drink most of this on my way there so that I can actually give them a urine sample because if not, I won't have to go, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm having breakfast on the go. I do have a pack of the um, muffins as well, the little mini muffins that I've been eating, the chocolate chip ones. Um, but I usually eat those at work like around 10.30ish. So I'll probably just have my banana in this um, right now. And I think 
it's better to do the ultrasound with a full bladder anyway so I'll probably try to get through that appointment and then use the bathroom <laughs> but we'll see so I will let you guys know how it goes afterwards I typically don't vlog inside of there just because you know privacy reasons and I just don't want them to tell me that I can't so right now the focus is to get through these two appointments and um, you know pray that everything goes well and then really talk to my doctor about um, you know this pandemic that's been going around and see um, you know where her head is at what she's thinking is best for for us to do so I will talk to you guys later have an amazing Friday have a good weekend stay safe um, I told you guys we did go to the grocery store we went to two grocery stores yesterday one grocery store had no meat at all like no meat so um, we did get some steaks from one of the, the first store and then I got just basically the chicken strips, the already cooked chicken strips to put into my chicken alfredo dish that I wanna make. Um, and then I have those HelloFresh meals coming. Um, so we are gonna make it do what it do. We got a lot of snacks. We also have things to make sandwiches. So we'll be fine. It's just that I was expecting to be able to get more meat. I do probably still need to stop this weekend to get some um, ground beef for my hamburger helper because I've really been wanting some hamburger helper. I have found ground chicken for our um, taco, for taco night. So we're going to have ground chicken tacos because they didn't have any ground turkey or any ground beef. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to have. And then we still have some pork chops and I think we have some um, chicken legs that are in the freezer because we only cook, he only grilled half the pack because we typically buy like the big family packs. Um, so I think we'll be fine. Um, but we brought so many snacks and so, cause he's a big snacker and I like to snack too. Like I pack snacks and stuff to go to work, but we bought like our entire grocery bill this time was like snacks and quick things and stuff like that. Just in case we have to be quarantined in the house for an extended period of time. Um, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey y'all. So, uh, I just finished my appointment. The anatomy scan went well, baby is looking great. Um, but the rest of the appointment was pretty much downhill for me because she definitely was like, no, you can't go in a baby mood, you can't do anything. Um, she definitely, she gave me a like a voluntary work from home letter, which ain't gonna work because it's not medically mandated basically. She said there was no medical reason, but yet I can't go on a trip or do anything but you don't have a medical reason for me to stay away from the same germs like I'm just confused by that but whatever so that ain't gonna work and then she was like the governor has mandated that all hospitals in the state go down to one person in the delivery room which they had already limited it to four at the hospital I was at which was a problem because you guys know my family is big and you know XYZ or whatever but four was doable now you're talking about someone like uh what like that's just a lot of pressure and now we're trying to figure out like you know the baby shower and stuff like that which wasn't going to be until the end of june and i'm hoping it'll be okay um because she was just like the governor has mandated that all large gatherings be canceled if it's more than 250 people and obviously we weren't having that many people but it's just like what is happening like what is happening like ridiculous so it's just like the things that i've looked forward to doing during my maternity journey are all just being slowly wiped away slowly wiped away so it's just like really frustrating but i mean i understand the importance of being precautious um but it's just you know a huge like gut punch basically so it is what it is there's nothing i can do about it i can't change anything it's just very frustrating um so I'll be happy when all this is over, whenever that may be, because obviously it doesn't seem like it's going to be over anytime soon. So that's the update on that. Um, and I go back in four weeks. So yeah, headed to work now where all the germs are and that don't seem to be a problem. But anyway. Hey y'all, so I'm home and baby girl's wall decals came in for her nursery. And some of them are like this natural color and then some of them are pink. But I'm thinking about doing like a neutral color on the wall. I was thinking about this cocoa malt color. Um, I also kind of like the white mocha, but I don't know if that's too dark. I'm not sure. But we're probably going to get some samples and then get, it's coming up a little green on camera, but it's not. Um, we're probably going to get some samples and then also get a, um, 
the window treatment for the uh, window as well. And then in the morning, we'll just get whatever color we decide on once we look at it in the daylight and at night, probably. But so I don't know what y'all think. Um, these colors back here are kind of dark, so I don't want to do those, but I kind of like these up here. Um, this color is too pretty too, the white flower. But it's like really, really bright on camera. So, I don't know. We'll see. I like the cocoa malt color. And I like the white flower color. This looks a little gray to me. The white veil is pretty as well. It's just really light. So I don't know. But let me show you guys the pink flowers. They look really pretty as well. Really, 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 really pretty. Hey guys. So it is Friday. I was home. I ate a sandwich for dinner. And Marnie opened up the decals. They look beautiful and it's tons of them. I definitely feel like we have enough of them. And we may even have enough to kind of like go off on the side walls a little bit too. Um, but the colors were really pretty. I have my color wheel here, my bare color wheel um, paint deck. And so we're headed to Home Depot to get three or four samples of paint. What do you think? Three, four? I really like four of the colors with three or four samples of the paint some small paint brushes and then also the blinds for that window in there and then we're going to swatch the wall probably tonight and wait until the morning to see it at nighttime and in the daytime to see which color we like best and what color we think will go best um, with everything else that we're trying to put in the room so i'm excited to be getting this done and if we are quarantined in the house there's one project that we can actually get done at least um get her room painted and before anybody says anything i won't be painting i won't be around the fumes or anything like that so he has one shot to get this right and not mess it up before we call a professional painter but we're gonna go um see what they have um and get some samples made and then head back to the house and then once we swatch the wall tonight um <clears throat> i'll let you guys see the colors and stuff like that there is currently no light in the room so i guess we can take like one of the, the lamps from my room and plug it up in there to see what it looks like at, at um, nighttime with the color on the wall and then in the daytime there's a window in there so there's daylight already so we'll be able to see it in the morning um as well so stay tuned guys okay guys so i found two of the four colors and i'm just gonna have her make the other two from here i couldn't find spanish sand and i couldn't find white flower but i did find cocoa malt and white mocha and i think i'm gonna do the um eggshell enamel in her room because i think the satin is just a little bit too too shiny for me usually i do put satin in the house but for her room i think i'm gonna do eggshell so i'm gonna get some samples of these four and then we're gonna move to the window treatments once we get some um, sample paint brushes good morning guys happy Saturday it is March 14th I think yeah 14th it's 801 and we went to bed kind of early last night so I've been up for a while I've just been laying in bed but I'm about to make me some breakfast and then I'm gonna get Ronnie up and I'm gonna have him paint the swatches on the wall because we didn't do it last night we were kind of tired um, and then I'll wait an hour or so let those dry and then we'll decide on a color based on these um, wall decals that I showed you guys yesterday and then the lighter color I put over here um, this row right here has the lighter ones on it which yeah it has the lighter ones on it um, I got four samples so we shall see and then I'm gonna go get two gallons of paint and that should be that um, for breakfast, I'm going to have some maple sausage links by Bob Evans. And then we tried out, I told you guys, we got a lot of quick stuff, a lot of snacks and stuff. They didn't have a lot of meats and stuff at the grocery store. Um, but we wanted to try these thick and fluffy Eggo, excuse me, French toast. So I'm going to have some of that. Um, and then probably some orange juice. So let me get started on that. These are just some of the snacks. We already ate one bag of chips. And then we have look at all this stuff. I got stuff to make a cake up there. I was just buying stuff like all up there. Ridiculous. 
Um, and then we have all this popcorn that we got from Kiara's fundraiser too. So yeah, we have stuff in here to eat. We're good. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm about to do. I need to clean off these dishes that we made yesterday. And yeah, that's it. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay guys, so here's my breakfast. Looks really good. I'm putting some syrup on it. And I'm gonna sit down and enjoy probably a YouTube video and my French toast and my maple sausage links. <laughs> Happy Saturday. So we're starting to swatch the wall. This is the first color. I think we're gonna do two coats just so we can see. But this is the Bear Marquis brand, which technically you're only supposed to do one coat unless you're going over a really dark color with the light color. Um, but it costs a little more, so I'm, I'm not sure we're going to do Marquee or whether we're going to do Premium Plus, but yeah, this is the first swatch, guys. And as you can see, the only thing left in the room is this bed that we need to take all her stuff off of and add it to her stuff over here. And then those three bins have home decor in them, so they have to go in the garage or the basement. But everything else is cleared out. Everything else in here is hers. The bed is going to go in the other room for now so yeah okay guys so we're putting the fourth color on the wall these are the four swatches we chose so far i think i'm liking the two on the bottom this is too dark for me and that is too light for me um so i like the two on the bottom so far we'll see Okay guys, so here's the four colors on the wall. I went ahead and taped up two of the wall decals. And I think there are different variations of the shade of pink and the shade of cream, but these are it. Um, so, so far they're number four, three, two, and one. My favorite is one. Ronnie's favorite is four. I just think that's really, really, really white and really light. Keep in mind the furniture is going to be pink. It's gonna be lighter than the um, pink storage bins right there, but I just, I feel like that up against white is like really, really white. So I don't know, but we'll see. This is what we're doing. And then there's the some leaves and stuff. But I didn't go ahead and put the leaves up, but yeah. Hey guys, so my HelloFresh order came and I didn't get to see it in the box, but the box is over there on the floor. Um, Ronnie said it came really nicely packaged though. Um, and these are the three meals we chose. Well, I chose actually. Um, and it comes with the recipe card. It's like really, really nice. So we got the apricot balsamic glazed pork tenderloin, the part, pork carnita tacos, and the cheesy smothered mushroom chicken. And everything comes in bags labeled for you. This is the pork carnita tacos. Everything that you need to make this recipe right here is in this bag. And then this is the one for the cheesy mushroom chicken and the apricot balsamic glazed pork tenderloin, which I'm going to make this for dinner tonight. He chose this. And then it comes with the meat separately. So everything looks really fresh. That was the one thing that he commented on. Like the carrots are actually whole raw carrots. This is the pork tenderloin. Um, this is the ground pork for the tacos. And then this is the boneless skinless chicken breast for the cheesy um, smothered mushroom chicken. But everything looks really, really fresh. I'll open up one of the bags, the one he already opened, so you guys can see um, what everything looks like. But it comes with like, the scallions you need, so I need to put these in the refrigerator, but um, you see how I said the carrots are whole, so you just wash them, peel them, cut them, everything is fresh, and it comes with the potatoes um, in there that you need, the mushrooms are in here as well, exactly how many you need that you have to slice up and cut yourself, so it is some prep work involved in this, um, but it tells you on the cards how long it should take you each recipe. This is the Monterey Jack cheese and it's just enough for each recipe. Now I did choose the meal plan for two people. Um, the only thing that I can think of is that maybe I should have chose four so that we could have maybe some um, leftovers, but I just wanted to try it out to see if we actually like the recipes and like the quality of the food. Um, the rest of it in here looks like more carrots and more potatoes, yeah. So this is everything that you need for the um, cheesy smothered chicken. And it looks really, really good. Now, it doesn't come with the chicken stock. And luckily, I just bought some from the store. It doesn't come with, like, 
um, extra virgin olive oil when you cook your stuff and it doesn't come with like um, chicken stock and stuff like that um, but everything else it comes with so yeah it's pretty good and usually it comes with like seasonings and all of that type of stuff as well it doesn't come with like if it just calls for salt and pepper it doesn't come with that because that's a, a normal household kitchen um, item but it looks pretty good so we're gonna give this a try um, for three meals this week and see how we like it and if so I'm gonna oh there is some seasoning I think he's, what is this chicken I don't know what this is but this may be the chicken stock um, but we're gonna give this a try for a couple meals this week and see how we like it. And um, we may uh, order, I have two more weeks that I can order at the discounted price. So this is not a sponsored video by any means, obviously. I'm just showing you guys something that I tried out because they had a really good deal. I think the deal I got was like free shipping and $20 for three meals for two people, which wasn't good because you usually can't even go in the grocery store and get the ingredients for three full meals for two people for $20 and this came delivered to my door. There is an ice pack in there, he said, as well to keep um, all of the food um, fresh and cold. And it came via FedEx, if you're wondering. Um, it was shipped out, I believe yesterday and it came today, so that's good. And I just go in the app and I just choose the um, meals that I want for the week. So I did pause it for next week just because I wanna make sure we like the food and like the quality and everything. And then I will go ahead and finish out my two weeks if we do. So, if you're interested in Hello Fresh, this is um, how it comes and what it looks like, and give it a try. I'll let you know once I cook something how it looks and what my experience was and stuff like that. But so far, so good. He said he was really pleased with the quality of how it was packaged and the quality of how the food actually looks. It looks really, really fresh. So, and I've already been looking at some of the. Um, See, here's what I'm talking about. So they consider these things the basics, the salt, pepper, oil, sugar, and butter. So those things, they don't give you um, in the actual package, but everything else that you need comes in the package. But we were um, impressed with the quality of how it was packaged, how it was presented, and um, the freshness of everything so far. So stay tuned. So guys, we made it to Home Depot. Um, we're about to go visit Ronnie's family, so we're in a different city right now but we made a decision on the paint and the lightest one won so number two won um so we're about to go get two gallons of that and get the rest of the materials that we need and I guess he can start on it whenever he starts on it <laughs> but yeah we're about to go get it so so Ronnie's going to go get some um weed and feed for the yard but look at this table this is like something like i had in mind that would match the um brown sectional furniture that i had outside and you can also put a umbrella in the middle of it it's 700 dollars though so y'all know but i ain't paying that but this is something that i had in mind because it's seat six is rectangle it would take up the rest of that space on the left side but i don't know ronnie is voting for me to try to bring back those tables that my parents gave me to life with the rust-oleum spray paint and he said he's gonna help me. So um, the plan is to bring both of them upstairs. There's two round tables that seat four, but obviously they would seat eight. And then we would have to get two matching umbrellas because I only have one umbrella. Um, I don't know what happened. I think the other umbrella broke. So I would have to get two umbrellas. Um, but this is what I initially had in mind. And then you can get different color um, cushions as well. So I would probably get blue cushions probably like the midnight color, um, this color right here to match the cushions on the other chair. I don't know, but um, it's really nice, $700. Um, so yeah, hopefully it'll go on sale. And then if it goes on sale at the end of the season, then I can, um, you know, get something like this. But this is what I had in mind. They also have this um, seating set, which is 700 as well. But of course I don't need this because I already have the um, sectional sofa. We were looking at trying to get a new fire pit because my parents did give me a fire pit, but it doesn't match. And it's really old and the table on it is broken. So we are looking to get another fire pit, but we want to get one that's kind of like, not like, you know, I don't know. Like once I find one, I'll show you but maybe like the round lower profile ones or something because 
the sectional we have is a low profile sectional but this is nice i just wanted to show you guys this really 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 nice you guys i see they have some garden stools out here and you remember i bought the um ivory tables and spray painted them with the rust-oleum to match they're selling these for 50 dollars. no way and this is the exact tables that i bought last year but i bought them on clearance i want to say i paid 20 some 21 dollars for each one of them and they're selling them again for 45 full price this is the exact color i got and i just spray painted it with the rust-oleum spray paint i think i did two coats and it came out perfect so fyi just wait for stuff to go on sale or on clearance but um yeah i can't believe they're selling them for 45 dollars each like that's a lot of money um but okay let me see if i can find him outside i hate this section of home depot like with a passion i do not like gardening or anything like that i'm not like that outdoorsy type girl um there he is he's coming um and they have some other furniture outside but like i said we're gonna try to make over the furniture in the house i mean that we already have so we'll see how it works did you find it the grills we already have a grill so are you looking for um are you gonna get the weed feed or no okay guys so i got picked up one of these we need a plastic drop cloth and i always just buy the plastic ones the disposable ones we also need some tape i usually use frog tape but i think i'm going to use regular tape for this project um let's see this tape is really expensive as well frog tape is not cheap either but um i'm trying to see if they have like a two pack or something that they don't This is 691, so I'm wondering. This should be okay. Should be enough in here. Let me get that. Actually, hold on. Yeah, this is kind of thin. Yeah. So I'm gonna get the one. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, and then we need, so we originally, usually we just get these, but I already have a paintbrush and the small roller that's new and the paint tray. So I just need a liner and a big paintbrush. So I'm gonna get a liner. They're usually really cheap right here. Fits the nine inch. They are, 87 cents so i'm gonna get i'll probably get two of these because he may not finish all in one sitting so i'm gonna get two liners and then he needs one of these how much are these 418 yeah he needs one of these and then he needs Um, a pack of long rollers and a pack of short rollers. So the long rollers are here and they're like four something each. So, mm, so I guess this is what he needs. This is too long though. No, he doesn't need that long length. I think he needs nine inch. I think this is a nine inch, right? But this is not the one he needs. He needs the one for smooth. Lord, let me go back and look and see what's in, what normally included because I have no idea. So I think this is a nine inch roller and the three eighths. So that's what he needs. <sighs> So this one, he needs two of these, this is $6. I'm wondering if it's cheaper to just get the $10, because this is six and this is four. Yeah, I think it's gonna be cheaper to just get the $9, excuse me. Thank you. Uh, I think it's gonna be cheaper to just get the set for $10, um, instead of getting this for four or something and getting those for six, because this is only, 
um, ten dollars. So it comes with one paint liner. Um, so I'll just get another, get him two more paint liners, and I'll put this back. It's definitely che cheaper. So yeah. They also have this one. It's the professional one. I never get this one. The green one always works for me. So I'm gonna just roll with that. Put this back. And what else do we need? I think that's pretty much all we need. We got the tape. We got the drop cloth. We have extra liners and the liners in here. So I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, all right y'all so we got the two gallons of paint i think that's enough to do the room and then i got these for my gallery wall in the basement and he got some grill cleaner stuff i don't know what that's for but whatever um the color is white mocha for some of you guys who are asking from instagram and it is the bear brand i got it in eggshell but also it comes in any finish you want but we did get the premium plus you can get the ultra you can get the bare marquee but premium plus two coats is good for a nursery in my opinion she's not going to be messing up the walls or, or anything like that anytime soon so all right y'all a hundred dollars later and this is the color of clothes for i know people are going to ask it's called white mocha and the um bear number is zero i mean i'm sorry it's or dash w11 and again, I got it in the eggshell finish, but you can get it in whatever finish you want. This was the really dark color that we didn't like. Um, and then I just got some mocha, some more white mochas just to take with me. So when I'm out shopping for decor and stuff for her room, I can just pull up this. I'm um, pull this out of my purse instead of taking my big um, paint deck with me, more my swatch deck with me. So I grabbed a couple of these. 